Hey guys, welcome to episode two of TP Sports Nation. We had a great weekend with all our varsity squad sweeping the competition. And we want to fill you in on it. Hey, over to Marquise. What's cracking, lacking, y'all? Baseball had an important week this week. They had three games against Kent. They won all three games. Let's go to At The Plate with Zach. Thanks, guys. Baseball traveled to Kent for a doubleheader on Saturday. John Link got the start in game one, throwing a complete game shutout. The bats came alive, scoring early and often, cushioning the lead, overall winning 7-0. Chase Swain started game two, working five and a third innings, only allowing one run. The bats came alive in the top of the seventh, cushioning the lead from 2-1 to one to 6-1 to one with a nice two-out rally. Nick Sotolano pitched the final inning in two-thirds, not allowing a run, securing the win for the pride. Chase, tell us about Sunday. Thanks, Zach. On Sunday, TP got the victory with Zach Peters throwing six strong innings, and the boys were also bring around eight runs in the W. Back to you, Marquise. Nice job, guys. Next, we're gonna go with Matt Bologna, but before we go to Matt to talk about the lacrosse report, we're gonna talk to Daz Briscoe with time and temperature. All right, it's Daz here. Halftime at a lacrosse game. It's 51 degrees, but it feels like 30 and go Pride. Thanks guys. Last weekend, um, the Pride took on Kent and an absolute obliterated them. Standout players with Sam Silverman in cage standing on his head. Kid is an absolute animal. Shout out to Mac Till for scoring his first two goals and Little Leahy um, to score before his big brother. That was an awesome moment. Good job. Now let's get into some highlights. Tyler Leahy runs up through X, finds JJ. An absolute snipe top left, what a shot by J.J. Ford. A nice assist by Tyler Leahy as well. J.J. Ford goes down the alley. BB's cutting, an around the world shot, what a goal. That is something that you don't see often, kids. That is a talented player right there. Here we go, we got the favorite player of all time, Matt Bologna with a beautiful takeaway check with Ben. Casino! Taking the ball, going. As Coach Kirks likes to say, go for a run, kid. Let's go for it. He's not, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. And a goal! Oh my god, Ben Casino, what a shot, kid. Shout out to Ben for helping create these awesome highlights for everyone to enjoy. The Pride will be taking on Avon Old Farms this coming Friday and Saturday. I hope everyone can come out and support the boys. Thank you so much and roll Pride. Thanks, Matt. Great job this weekend, boys. Now we're gonna go over to Mason Clark and hear how track did against Brunswick. Thanks, Cal. Now let me tell you about last week's TP track team versus Brunswick. We had an outstanding performance, winning 62 to 51. Now let me show you some outstanding clips from this week. And this is Latrell Perry at the shot put, throwing a PR of 46 feet and four inches. And next up, we got Sam Renal at high jump, jumping five feet, winning us the event. And here is Sam Renal once again, showing us blazing speed as he catches up to the Brunswick team, handing the baton off to Robbie Accomando, giving us a fighting shot to win the relay race. And for our last performance of the day, here is Sky Dulce at the discus, throwing 132 feet and two inches, winning us the event. And a big thanks to Mrs. McDougal for these awesome pictures. And back to you, Marquise. Thank you, Big Mace, for that fire insight on that track meet. That's a wrap for episode two on TP Sports Nation. Not one, but two. This is a big weekend this week. Big, big weekend. Let's keep this winning streak alive, and let's see you back here next week for another episode of TP Sports Nation.